why don't we jump to Kali Uchis, Uchis, Kali Uchis with her al- album Isolation. Now, this is an album I can ride for right here. This this shit sounded remarkable um, for someone that I had never listened to before. She she only had her EP in 2015. Poor Vita. Um, I mean, this this kind of blew me away because I was expecting this to be kind of what what Tanache was in a way, kind of you know enjoyable pop album, something that I, overall like I, I got used to and got it, and I was like, okay, I can probably skip through the rest of these songs. This thing was like very eclectic and in sound and then she's a uh, colombian american her parents i believe are from colombia and i think she's from there too oh she is okay so she, she's an immigrant um i mean it's it's obvious that she has a lot of influences but the way that she kind of mixed like latino uh with r&b hip-hop and pop elements was just really impressive um what did you think of this isolation album yeah i know i think that's kind of what i latched on to too similar to uh Camila Cabello back in January, uh, a Cuban yeah. American, uh, the Latin flair to, to both projects does stand out. Mm-hmm. And, you know, with Kylie, um, she, her story is interesting because as soon as she kind of like got over here and started like, you know, making music, she collaborated with fucking everyone. Like she has multiple songs with Tyler, the creator, uh, both on cherry bomb and flower boy uh, song with Snoop Dogg. She was on the most recent gorillas album song with Miguel, um, so she's you know been happy to work with anyone and people were happy to work with her and then to make this project which is uh, she worked with Daniel Caesar as well and was nominated for a Grammy for uh, the most recent Grammy's best R&B performance but uh, yeah this album I mean it, I think it's it, it does a lot of stuff with like the pop and the R&B and the funk like, there's a lot of different genres in there and yeah. you can definitely tell like all, all the 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 people she has working with her you look at the liner notes there's a lot of talented people on the uh on the album like damon alburn's there um yeah steve lacy there, big fan of course the steve lacy song also has work from uh ramil from brockhampton which i thought mm-hmm. was really cool and like I, I think if there's one thing one negative i have about kai i don't think her vocals are amazing you know she's not like the best singer ever but it's fine because all the songs are so well crafted exactly yeah and i i think I would agree that her vocals aren't, they don't blow you away, but it, it, to kind of bring in and let like drive home that point of the, the eclectic nature, like she had TV on the radio, one of the get members from that who was helping her with this, which is a pretty famous uh, band from like the early two thousands. Um, I mean, Dave said uh, from Frank ocean, who, who's a collaborator with him. Mm-hmm. Um, Omos Keith, DJ Doll, uh, Damon Albarn actually is on a song. Um, Steve Lacey from the internet is actually on a song as well. And Greg Kirsten was involved. Thundercats involved. Uh, I mean, th- this George is what Smith. you get when you collaborate with all these people and, and put in, in the work. They want to help you out. And it really pays off in this album. I actually thought the song with Tyler was probably my favorite one. And I thought Tyler was great on, on the song too. Yeah, definitely. Um, wh- what were the songs that stood out to you in this? Uh, definitely the the steve lacy song what's it called just uh yeah just a stranger there's a stranger yeah and the song with georgia smith as well i really liked yeah shout out georgia smith like uh, i heard her and it like my my ear like perked up um i also thought the intro even though it's only like a minute 20 long uh, body language is like a really interesting way to start the album it's like kind of psychedelic mixed with like some like latin sound it's really awesome uh i highly recommend this album it's probably my my biggest surprise album of the year to this point um out of just coming out of nowhere and and grabbing my attention uh so i definitely recommend it yeah i think in terms like the pop slash r&b space it's it's probably the best one we've reviewed i'd say yeah i mean it's, it's up there with uh camilla i think it's probably a little bit better than that yeah. Better, I mean, the weekend EP, it's too yeah. really too short. You know, it's better than that. Uh, yeah, it's uh, I mean, it's only April sixteenth, but it's definitely uh, uh, the best one I've heard so far. Janelle Monae is gonna be dropping what next week? Uh, this week, two week, two Fridays, four twenty seven. Yeah, so I have a feeling this is gonna be short lived for uh, Kaylee, but given the signals, yeah, we'll, we'll see.